Hi everyone, Hannah here. Welcome back to my channel for another Christmas Vlogmas sit down video. And today we're on to a happier subject. I'm talking about my best Christmas movies that are the ones that I love to just curl up with around Christmas time. So yeah, let's just crack straight into it. There isn't an order as to how I love these, to what level I like these movies. They are all just, I will choose these movies to watch if someone says, do you want to watch a Christmas film? The first one that I'm going to say is Arthur Christmas. Now, I fell in love with this movie when I watched it. My kids love this movie when they watch it. And it just, it has such a feel good ending. You know, if you've seen it. And if you haven't, you should really go check it out. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's one that we can actually all just sit and watch. And my kids won't necessarily go bumping through or things like this. It's not one that will always hold their attention, but it holds it better than some of the other ones that we've got. <laughs> Next um, in the list is a trilogy of films, and it is the Santa Claus trilogy. Now, I absolutely, I love, I love this series. The idea of Santa just falling off someone's roof and then him putting the coat on to become Santa Claus is absolutely brilliant and I loved his son Charlie. Charlie through all three of the films was amazing. Wait, was he in the third one? I actually can't remember if he was in the third one. I know his little sister was, but yeah. And I love the third Santa Claus film because it is a Jack Frost one and there are not, Jack Frost I feel is a very is a right minority when it comes to Christmas. There are only a handful of films that I know of personally that have Jack Frost in them and only two of them can be classed as Christmas films. And if anyone's thinking that Rise of the Guardians is a Christmas film, no it's not. It is set at Easter because the Easter Bunny has got to deliver all of his eggs. It may be cold, it may be snowing, but that's because it's set in a cold country. <laughs> um, so yeah, just thought I'd throw that in there while I was going off on a tangent, but again, I'm going off on a tangent. So yeah, the Santa Claus trilogy. I love those movies. Next two, um, I will do together because we always watch them together because they are on a disc. Both. They're really short little movies together on one disc, and they are The Snowman and Father Christmas. Now, I grew up watching these, and um, I they were just something, a nice short, quick Christmas film that I could curl up with and watch before bed. And now that I've said Father Christmas, I have his little theme song from the, 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 the child sings with the credits playing in my head. So, yeah. Sorry, now trying to shut that off. But those two are, I absolutely love them. Um, I will be honest, I haven't actually seen the remake, which is The Snowman and the Snow Dog. Uh, we own it. I managed to find a copy and I, I thought it'd be a nice little treat for the kids for this Christmas because they haven't seen it either. Um, but yeah, so you can all, I will let you guys know what about that. And if you like the new one as well, then please let me know down below if you think it's any good, so I can go in being a bit biased. <laughs> Next one is is a grown-up Christmas film, I will admit, it is The Holiday. And I love curling up with this film. I will also curl up with this film around New Year because um, the end of the movie happens obviously at New Year as well. So the week between Christmas and New Year is normally, if I'm feeling seasonal in regards to my movies, when I'll watch The Holiday. But it is one of the few movies that I adore Jack Black in. And I just, yeah. Everyone in it does amazing performances. And Jude Lawyer is easy to look at. So, yeah. That is my most grown-up um, Christmas film that's on this list. The next one is... I personally, I adore this movie. It's, again, it's kind of a short one. Um, and in all truth, it is rather morbid but I still find it beautiful. It is the musical version of The Little Match Girl. Now, I, I love this story. 
it is a beautiful story it to me instills the good heart and the generousness that we should be seeing Christmas because that's all this little girl wants and yeah my mum didn't let me watch it at Christmas I managed to find a DVD copy a few years ago. I was like, Mum, can I watch it? Mum, can I watch it? And she was just like, no. She wasn't a big fan. But yeah, that one is, yeah, the most morbid Christmas film I have on there. Obviously, if you've seen it, you know why. Um, but yeah, it is still one of my all-time favourites. And because the song, even though it has a very morbid ending, I personally, I just love the songs in it. I think that they are bouncy and they are cheerful and they're just fun. They're fun to dance to and they're fun to sing to. <laughs> and my all time favourite Christmas movie um, is Jim Carrey's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Now don't get me wrong, I'm 27 years old and Jim Carrey's Grinch smile near the beginning of the movie will still freak me out every now and then if I'm not fully paying attention and I suddenly turn around and I see it, it does still catch me off guard. However, I love How the Grinch Stole Christmas. It, it's already been on in this house at least twice, I think. Um, and that's not through me picking it. No, I lie. I picked it once. Elena's picked it the second time. And it's just, yeah. I can't even say how I feel about it, but I do. That has to be my go to Christmas movie of all time. <laughs> so, yeah, they were my favourite Christmas movies. If you haven't seen any of these movies, then please, if you want to, and uh, then let me know what you think of them. If you have seen them, do you agree with me? Do you not? And then, so yeah, please drop me a comment down below about what your favourite movies are. What one is your Christmas Eve all-time go-to movie? I would love to know because you, kn I might not have heard of it or it might be one that I haven't seen because there are quite a few that I haven't seen that I just, I haven't got round to. So yeah, if this was your first time clicking onto one of my videos, hi. Welcome, my name's Hannah, I'm taking part in Vlogmas this year, so please hit that subscribe button and the little bell so that you can see whenever my videos go live. I have a few more sit down videos coming in my just Vlogmas series um, to start the month off, but then after that I will be properly getting into Vlogmas with family vlogs and all of that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you tomorrow. Bye guys.